And I was like, leave. Okay. Oh, uh, David, I'm coming. Oh, nice shot. There he is. Hello, bird. What a piece of crap. The car, too. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Hey, David, guess what? Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. <laughs> Ooh. At your face. At your face. What the hell was that, no, man? I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. <laughs> she had a little smirk on her face. It's like, she... oh, I gotta do that. Is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I'd gotten to my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electrode insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not hear me? <laughs> I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is this? Oh. Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. <laughs> yeah. Right. Let's go and get this stuff there and get this thing over with so we can move on. What's David doing? Leaving stuff in our garage anyway. Does he think he's moving in or something? You know, I think he does. <laughs> Not to spoil anything, but you know. Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Ooh, why would we go? Yeah, the stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before Garbage Day gets it first. What? Okay. What else we got? Camera. Dad's old camera. Oh. Do they even make film for these anymore? Oh, yes, and that's, ah, uh, yes, that would be something that we know about later on. It comes, uh, it comes about, what have we got here? Do these have chapters on hot wiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. Hmm. <laughs> right, we know that's the stuff. I'm going to want to explore everything. Oh, see that cockroach just running around. What look. By toolbox, did David mean this, or did he mean himself? Lol. Okay, grab their tools then. We get what we need. <sighs> Take it. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. Okay, before we go, let's have a look, look at the last few things that we've got in over here. So, Dad's... A uh, box of dead stuff. Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. And this was the photo mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, she's just gonna let one of them go at some point. David's lawnmower. Maybe mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? All right. Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. You know, William's stuff. It's like moving all this stuff into the... I mean, she's just trying to... You know, her mum's just trying to move on. We get that. And, you know, obviously, whatever, you know, whenever a breakup happens, whether it's through divorce or a sad loss of a, you know, a parent or a loved one or something like that, and you just want to move on, right? But, you know, obviously, kids will take hard time. Anyway, suck it, wrench. If I don't bring David his wrench... Oh, there we go. A little Sorry. More hustle wouldn't have killed you. <laughs> it's gonna be difficult all the way through this with him, and we know it doesn't actually end there. But yeah, it's it's goes to show that they never really kid off it from the start. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. <laughs> All right. 
to be fair, we can't actually argue with that. And I'm sure that's a different voice actor doing his voice, David's voice. I don't know. I can't remember, the, to be honest, but I'd have to go back at some point. I wouldn't mind. Accept fist bump, leave him hanging. Oh, he's got to leave him hanging. We've got... Whoa! <laughs> All right. How you do anything is how you do everything. What a... <laughs> now I need a shower. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. Yes. <laughs> I mean, he, he must know who's, who's he belongs to, right? I mean, maybe he does. Ready to... Roll. Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Don't. Fuck. <laughs> we don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Okay. Oh, shut this down or ignore and endure. Should we shut it down? Because it's going to be something. We're le still learning how to use this mechanic, so... It's been a first... Oh, this is the second time now? We've actually done it properly? Or third? I can't remember now. Ah! Oh, I'm gonna shut you down. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Ooh. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Oh, military language, mustache, French language. Je m'appelle don't give a shit. You or, got a smart mouth, don't you? Uh, let me dumb down. Oh, you damn! Threaten me. You know how I know? Because you just tried, and fuck you. Oh, I'm... That's enough. Oh, that was... I won't stand for your disrespectful mouth. Regard for authority unites us, gives us dignity, and we are better united than divided. That. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe, hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use, it's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up, get your act together, and put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? Got it. Say nothing. Oh, I lost that argument. That was the. I think that's gonna be the first loss then. But that timer goes really quick, so you've got to choose really fast. Okay, on this one, there's no timer, so it's not a big deal, so... But, wow, okay. Got to be more quicker at those responses. And trying to choose the right one, so, okay. Um, say nothing, just... I don't know. You don't know how lucky you are to have a mother like Joyce. She's an amazing woman. Coddles you, it's true, but... It's only because she loves you. Problem is, you don't learn discipline that way. Give me one chance to show her how things could be, and you'll be singing a different tune. Mark my words. Ah. Oh. Okay, now we're waking up. We're still in the car. Did this? Oh, did we fall asleep? Music. Wait, what? No, oh, this is a dream. We're yeah, in a dream. I love this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my old friend. Yeah. Burning the midnight. All right, but this is another one of those reasons when you go, oh, I hate, I hate YouTube for the what fact that they give me day. this crap about not being able to do anything 
with the music because it was copyrighted and that would have been a perfect moment as well because we would have sang along with the song so but, oh, okay let's look this this isn't right suck it I know what a spark plug does jerkwad okay William then speak dad turn it up oh damn yeah, there's... Oh, no, I can't really do much about it. Sorry, but, you know... We get it. So, we get it, you know. It's... Wait. Hey. The hell? Oh, crap. Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Eh, yeah, okay. Whenever. <laughs> hey, yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. You're welcome. Ah, uh, see you later. Right, let's explore this area then. Hello, Black Hell. Yeah. Oh, dear. Right, so we've got, we've got the Tempest. So the dinner play. Uh, the Tempest. Bit of Shakespeare and play there going on. Good luck, seniors. So, Blackwell Academy was 1910, wasn't it? Future needs excellence. Je Jeremiah Blackwell. What was that? Setting up then? That's uh, for the weekend. Wow. Who's that? Is that Elliot? Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. <laughs> yes, it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? Uh, that sounds awful. Maybe. Uh, it's not really a thing, is it? <laughs> so, I'd, you know what? That sounds awful. No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Wow. Yeah, right. Me too. I guess. All right. See you in cam. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Well, I think we did a good, good one then. I think we did that. All right. Uh, press gotta track down to pick objectives. up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Still got time, yeah. Okay. Right. So let's have a look around. How so could we've got... I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? <laughs> yeah, again with the thing though, it's like uh, Nathan and tights can't unsee. Okay, and what have we got? Sci-fi movie yeah. club. Well, at least not for now. Okay, meet five thirty Wednesdays. New to the genre, let us introduce us. Introduce you to the classics. Have a movie suggestion. See Warren or Brooke. Okay. So, O2. Ah, get DVD from Steph. That was how, she, that's what she had on written on her hand? Okay. All right. Oh, we've got a message then, have we? What was that? Okay, this is from Steph. Hey, I'm at the uh, picnic table with Mikey. Thanks. On my way. Right. Fountain. I've already uh, I read that. Don't think. The future needs excellence. The future is an asshole. <laughs> uh, oh, is that Victoria? Victoria Cheese, is it? Should we speak to her? Let's do it. Oh, Carrie Price. It's Chloe. Chloe. <laughs> oh, right. I'm just teasing. 
people have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. Oh, you don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Rachel Amber, Vortex Club, Young Artist Award. Uh, right, so the last thing she said, we can come back to that. Just rest. Wait, what about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. Uh, tell what? Uh, we murdered a man. <laughs> oh, I want to go down that road. Yeah, we murdered a man. It was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing. We murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously, though. I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I, what? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Seriously, wow. I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. Yeah. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. Really? What? Walk away, sabotage her homework. Uh, she's been a dick. Shall we? Oh, we <laughs> sabotage her homework. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey, thanks, Carrie. Oh, no dick. problem. <laughs> totally gonna fail. Right, let's walk around. See who's around, see what's around. Maybe there's some more confetti that needs to be done. Just following pathways, I guess. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Do not walk onto the stage. So that's totally what we're going to do, right? Great. And we're going to sit. Let's sit on the stage and be like, whatever. Contemplate. I should probably be getting to class but I just don't care okay so I guess this may be a thing like you know by sitting on the stage mm. last night really happened the internet says it did but I still can't believe it Rachel Amber the drama star honor student popular princess of Blackwell Swoops in like a Batman to save my ass and thrash to firewalk? Either that was a dream or real life just got a shit ton crazier. Oh, it gets crazy. I think it's time to leave, though. Oh, it comes. Oh, great. Bad timing. We got the principal, is principal it? Principal Wells. Hey. Chloe Price. Is that a black eye? I'm, uh, yep. I hope you know that Blackwell provides confidential counseling services for all our students. We are a safe space for any issue. I'm good. It's the other guy who needed a safe space from me. You never fail to conform to your reputation, do you? Miss Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. Uh, I didn't... I didn't do it, I swear. How about minor infractions? Uh. I swear to you, I did not walk on that stage. It was more of a saunter. <laughs> do I oh, look damn. amused to you? I don't know. I've only seen you with one expression. That's, That's the, the one. 
<laughs> Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero tolerance policy. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? Uh, actually, no. Oh, can we try and win this argument? I've got to try it. I've got to try it. Okay, actually, no. Wells really has it out for me. I have to convince him it's in his best interest to back off. Actually, sir, I'm going to go with no. Ah, so you're going to mouth off to me now, yes? And here I thought your well of witticisms had finally run dry. Uh, Principal Wells, I get it. Uh, Seriously, I really do. That's quite a no. <clears throat> I do not need to search you, Miss Price. Your words alone have convinced me of your guilt. You will meet me in my office after school for a formal reprimand. Great. Just... Damn it. Great. Ah. And there's no more hints now as to what I should be doing. And it's like, damn, you get one lesson and that's it. <laughs> oh, I need to pay more attention on, on what button setups I've got. It's quite simple. Like, I've got square, triangle, and circle. And I... Ooh, corner? Smoke. So have a quick smoke before we come in then, yeah? Why not? Smoke them if you got them. Yeah. Students at Blackwell have this herd instinct to glom up into little groups like sheep. And if you just want to be alone, you get labeled like some dangerous outsider. Just like any other prison. Except now the prison follows you wherever you go, thanks to social media. I can't believe Rachel posted a photo of the two of us together last night. Yeah. Am I still an outsider if I'm hanging out with Rachel Amber now? And what does it mean that hanging out was so awesome? Does that make me just the same as every other student here? Nah. Fuck that. No, it's time to leave. Let's go and get a DVD. Alright. So I can't leave any anything there. Oh, it's a wall. Aha. This would be a graffiti time then. That's what I was looking for. I knew there had to be. Just for, you know. Just because it's become a thing. Fire wall. Rocks. Principal Wells rocks. <laughs> yeah. Principal Wells. Let's do let's do Principal Wells. I can't believe I missed a button prompt. Oh, damn it. Again. Ladies and gentlemen, Principal Wells. Huh. Cool. Right. Let's go to the bench, which is I did what I see it. Somewhere over this way. Uh, Steph and Mikey normally post up somewhere quiet in the courtyard. In a courtyard over this way, then. Oh, I, I see. What's this? Flowers? Flowers always make me think of springtime, which makes me think of summer, which makes me think of getting the fuck away from Blackwell for three whole months. I love flowers. Hmm. <laughs> This makes being high sound like a bad thing. Again with that kind of Kevin's reference. work is actually pretty good. I'd never tell him that, of course. The dangers of fire, uh, forest fires, right. So this, I think, it, I don't know, maybe that's foreshadowing something because we got that thing like earlier telling us about Fire, you know, don't get fireworks and stuff, and you know, there's a high chance that there's going to be a fire at some point. So, and it's before the storm, it's called before the storm. So, okay, let's try it. Let's see. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge, potion wouldn't have worked. 
Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. Who wouldn't understand? Uh, try me. I used to play. Well, we don't know, but let's try me. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Haha. <laughs> cool. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? What's... What's it uh, to you? Ah, uh, we're not friends. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't want to be rude, but what's it to you? Cause it's more of a question, so let's. I don't know. We're not friends, are we? I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. <laughs> Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes. What else have you got to do before class? Sure, let's do it. Um, well, let's try it out. In, she might actually oh, like hell? It's a you dice rolling. Nerds. Kind of like D&D. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> Why was that funny? I'm totally an elf barbarian. Nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know. I'm good. All right. Let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron the unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernal. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh, Chloe, Bob. Uh, Calamastia. Calamastia. Yeah. Well, it's Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes. Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscar. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? According to my character sheet, I once made a man. I once made a man kebab. I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him too. True story. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent. That could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon <laughs> frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Oh, Warlord's tent, training ground, prison camp. Leave the game. Oh, we don't want to leave the game, so... Oh, wow. Warlord's Ten? Training... Warlord's Ten. It's oh. tent time. Are you sure you want to skip the training ground and the prison camp? Maybe, uh... Go to the boss battle? Straight away. <laughs> We're kind of getting there a little bit fast, but... Maybe we should have gone to prison, at least. You heard me. Let's do the boss battle. She wants to try and be Into badass. Tent to find Warlord of the Raiders Whoa. of the Black Well. 
sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows, ha 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 Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's cataclysmic cone of fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Calamastia? What'll it be? Ooh, okay. Brutal punch. Annihilation strike. Wraithful Resh. Oh, okay. Um. Wraithful Rush. Maybe. I don't know. Punch sounds kind of. I don't know. Annihilation strike. Annihilation strike. Try that one. Oh, holy shit. Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. Can I get it? One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no, three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs, plural, severing both feet at the ankles. I'm so sorry, this game. This game is awesome. <laughs> um, this game is this awesome. Game is awesome. My feet? <laughs> oh no! The <laughs> oh shit! I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp! 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 This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Jump in front of Anamon. Dance. Encourage him. Um. Encourage. I kind of. He kind of feels like you, you need to sort of make up for the that feet stomping. <laughs> oh no. I say something really encouraging to Alamon. Like what? Yeah. Like what? Shit. Shit uh, what? Um why is being nice so hard? <clears throat> Never ever give up. Word. Elamon feels inspired. He summons the strength necessary to crawl away from Durgeron. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? Oh, man. I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. And we're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Oh, crap. Swing for his arm? Swing for his head? Uh, if we go for his arm, I guess. Slower. <laughs> yeah. I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one with the fire bracer. bracer thingy. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. You'll have to roll high to hit. Okay, so she's got to get a good. Dead. 20. Oh, Five. yes. <laughs> you bring your axe down in a wicked chop, severing his arm completely. His bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. I cast Gignomi's fire strike of flame. Oh, snap. Lying on the ground, you conjure a flaming spear which flies from your hands to spear Durgeron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Damn, Elamon. 
Durgron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. I hmm. actually feel sad right now. Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Monkey's cool. got serious drawing skills. Nice. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Thanks for the game, nerds. Right, so I guess what we'll do is <laughs> head to class then. Beauty, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy, joy. of joy. <laughs> yeah. So let's go to uh, let's go to class then. Is there anything else I can look around? I don't think so. I think I've pretty much covered everything. Is this where we're going? Yep, it is. Oh great! Who's this? What, the hell? what have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that. True North, a jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh wow, this is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. <laughs> you're such a loser. Take it elsewhere. You're both losers. Mm -mm. I don't know. What's it gonna do? Um, what's it gonna do? What are we gonna do here? I mean, Guys, take it back. No need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks. Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial Ooh. aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Ouch. Wow. That's just what Take a dick move. move. Yeah. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. Oh. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! Okay. Ah, oh, step in, stay out. I've lost the last couple of rounds. Oh, I can't keep losing them all, can I? Surely not. Let's step in. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Uh, back off, idiot. Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Uh, that's hardly fair. Give me some, uh, sorry, Prescott. Oh! Picking on someone your own size. Yeah. Which I hear is pretty small. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. Just need one more. Crazy, that's true. You have no idea how crazy I am. Keep pushing and find out. You want a piece of this? A piece of your... Oh, uh, no. A piece of cake. A piece Please. of cake. Please. Kicking your ass is going to be a piece of cake. Yes. We won. <laughs> <laughs> she <Slap>. giggles. <laughs> Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Go, Samantha. <laughs> Danim. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Yeah. Take your pervy picture book. You just got wrecked, Are man. You think I need help? <laughs> From you? Oh come on. You're welcome. Just... Are you all right? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. Skip. 
Skip, what happens to Skip? What happens to Skip? We like Skip. <laughs> he's, he's not David. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, we've got another message. Oh, it's from Mum. Let's start. make sure we reply and answer. There will be consequences. Um, glad we talked. Okay, right. Let's go back up just to... Okay, glad we talked. Me too. I know you're doing your best. Love you. All right. Cheers, Mum. Gee, thanks. All right, let's get to class.